Cumberland Waltz by Larry Unger. Classic, amazing tune by the great Larry Unger, incredible composer of too many tunes to even think about. I want to teach you how to play it. It's in the key of E. Uh, so on a mando, that means you're going to have this note, G sharp. This is an E mixolydian because it has a D natural. There isn't a D. There's no D sharp in this. three chords, which is kind of cool. It's an E. I like this E position. First chord is an A. Da, 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 da. Yeah, E modal. Uh, so, uh, I'm going to teach you the melody, and I'll teach you the chords as we go along, okay? Starts on an E note. It's going to go E, G sharp, A. G sharp. Landing on that beautiful D note. But interestingly, the chords do not go to a D. It stays on an E. So the chords so far, da da A to E. much to it. The chords 
We already know what the chords are. Um, let's play it again. Not much to it. B part. Holding that uh, G sharp to that B. Same like recycled again from the A part. There's just a couple of licks in this song that are worked over and over again. Second, second idea is hang on to it forever. Then the beginning idea again. You remember that. Ending. very similar to the A part. Well, you know, it's easy, really easy to compose a complicated tune. It's very hard to compose a simple tune. That's why Cumberland is such an amazing tune. Uh, let's go over, um, uh, let's go over the, the beat, whole B part. One, two, three, one. Hold it for an eternity. chords for the B part. So it's E, D, E, stays on the E, stays on in E forever. E to D, E, 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 D, E, A, E to D to E. No, I'm confused. I can't remember Larry. Let's do that B part again. This is a possible variation that he might do. E, D, D, E, 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 E
All right, good luck. Learn that tune. Killer tune, right?